Here we are. Thank you very much, Alan White, to sit down with us for a few minutes here today before your show at the Hampton Beach Casino here in New Hampshire. Uh, I've been a fan of Yes all my life. It's just a tremendous thrill to have you here and really appreciate you coming and chatting with us for a few minutes. Thank you. So what, what do you find the, the more difficult songs to play in Yes? There are a lot of difficult songs that I think everybody oh, would throw their hands you, up at. But. You name it. Um, um, there's so many. They're, they're very difficult in different ways. Um, Gates of Delirium, Close to the Edge, Awaken, which we're playing this evening. Um, How about Ritual? Well, Ritual, oh, I, I was going to say, I was going to say it's a piece of cake, but it's not, okay? <laughs> it's, um, it's pretty hard. Um, so there's a lot of them. Amen. So what do, you, what do you love to play the best when you get into it? What do you love? What are the songs that you really like to get into and play? I like Sabrina and Kachu, Awaken, we're playing tonight. It's one of my favorites. There's all kinds of stuff. I mean, the Gates of Delirium is really difficult, but it's very satisfying when you've done it. So, so much music. This is really diverse. And a lot of it's really hard to play. But some so of it's very easy. Is there a difference between the way the drums kit is put together and tuned when you're on the road versus in the studio? Not really. I keep my basic drums are always the same. It's the way it's mic'd and everything like that. Well, how about the cymbals? I, I think I remember hearing a, re a re interview with you that you said the cymbals can't be very hot on stage because they'll they don't <laughs> like mixing them and get laughing. Yeah, well, it is. So you've got to be careful. So the different cymbals, or are you just always use the no, same no, ones? No. Anyway? Same. So how do you feel? You look pretty good. I know you had some back surgery a little while ago. Uh, how does, how's the health from the drum point of view? My health is fine. Um, my back, I had back surgery, which takes two years to get over. I'm about a year into it, so I have to take it easy uh, right now, but um, pretty good. The wear and tear on your body after 50 years is... Uh, you know, it's a long time. I've been playing the drums for over 50 years now, and it's like, kind of scares me to think about that. <laughs> but my doctor told me, he said, you've got to be joking. Your body is just, you know, you got wear and tear. I, I, you know, I know that you were a longtime friend with Christopher Squire. You guys were the backbone of the band. So how, how did that work with you and Chris on stage? Chris was a great player. And it was wonderful to work in the rhythm section for 43 years right. with a guy like that. And um, very inventive. And, you know, just a, a really talented guy, talented musician. And um, unfortunately, he got sick, you know. Yeah, that's really sad. That was a very sad day. So why still tour? Because we love touring, and um, the background of the band is touring, and the music keeps everything going. Um, and Chris's dying wish was for me to keep this going, and that's what I'm doing. Really? That's amazing. So I know you played with John Lennon, and you played with George Harrison, and probably two of the most famous, and my, one of my most favorite songs that they've made, both Imagine and My Sweet Lord. I hear a lot about the Imagine Sessions, so I don't really want to go there. A lot of that's been documented. But with George Harrison, how did that come about? Why did you get the play on All Things Must Pass? Well, George used to come down to the sessions at John's house. And um, he was hanging out there. And um, eventually, when he came to make All Things Must Pass, he called me. And all we did was turn up the studio every day for three weeks. And uh, everybody played. And whoever was there was playing. It was one of those kind of things, and it was a lot of fun. George seemed to strike a chord, as it were, with, with me. And when you do things with the Beatles, it's being part of a family. 
Well, it's very special. I, I'm sure those are really warm memories that you have. I know looking from the outside, it, it must have been, you know, from my point of view, everybody wants to be in those shoes. So uh, congratulations on that. Those are really two really special moments. No, you but you know what? I was very young when I did all that stuff. A little naive what was going on. I thought it was a stepping stone in my career and nothing else. And then, you know, years later, you look back and you go, did I really do that? Yeah. <laughs> That's terrific. Are you doing new recordings on your own? No, uh, we, we've got a very heavy schedule with the band live. And um, we're thinking about possibly recording next year. Any solo stuff? Did you? I know you did stuff with uh, Levin and company and, uh, over the years. Yeah, well, I've got my own band in Seattle, and we right. do shows around there. We just play music I like and what I've performed on and stuff like that. And everybody has a good time, you know, so. That's nice. That's really good. Well, thank you so much. Pleasure. Right.